I'm very concerned that our society is much more interested in information than wonder, in noise rather than silence. How do we do that? I mean, um, why is it then you think that so many people come up short on self-esteem and on believing in themselves and having confidence? to go out and take on uncharted waters? Probably because of very early on in our lives that we weren't valued. You know, the greatest gift we can give anybody, any little child, is to help that child know that, you know, you're a part of our family and you're, you're a welcome part and there are things that you can do to enhance our family. You know, I have a little plaque beside my chair upstairs in the office that says, what is essential is invisible to the eye. That may sound like something strange for somebody who works in television. But the older I get, the more important I know that is. Why is it important? Because what we see is rarely what is essential. What's behind your face is what's essential. Uh, I what, what is essential about me is some sense of, of making a difference and, and, and having um, a, a, a satisfying life that is not only um, one that, that has some sense of value and integrity uh, at its core, but also has some sense of connection to a larger world that makes a difference so that you can, at the end of the day, hopefully have made the difference in your life and in somebody else's life, either because you touch them with a story or you touch them uh, because you recognize their sense of excellence and their sense of, 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 of quality. So. You know, if you can do that in a small way, you know, and the, and the wonderful thing about you and I, we have the opportunity, in a sense, a window, you know, to talk and to recognize and to, in a sense, um, speak. We have a... But do, have you... But have you ever known anybody who was really satisfied or happy who had never made a difference in somebody else's life? No, no. But, and I tell you what the other... And that child comes up and gives me a hug. Uh, I know that that's the field that I want to be growing in because I see that people who, who are not the fancy people in this world are the ones who seem to nourish my soul. And I want to learn how to be the best receiver that I can ever be because I think graceful receiving is one of the most wonderful gifts we can give anybody. If we receive what somebody gives us in a graceful way, we've given that person, I think, a wonderful gift. <laughs> now you see, this little bird doesn't know it. Oh. I think, 
I think there may be some symbolism here.